Hi guys, I'm Dave. This is Beer Virtually. Today we have another beer from Six Point. Um, this is a beer I've wanted to try for a long time. This is called Three Beans. And this is an Imperial Porter. Mmm, that smells good. Dark pour. Uh, very similar to a cola. Light head. Um, just a thin light head. Oh, this is going to be good. Um, it sits very dark in the glass. Oh, it's so much more. You, you can smell so much more. Even opening the can, you would think you'd, you'd instantly release a bunch of, of scents. So much more once it's poured. It's turned over, and then the snifter we've talked about so many times really is just great for smelling. Let's take a first sip. That is good. Similar almost to like a Dewclaw hint in there. Um, this is 10.1 ABV. There is no um, IBUs listed. And I'm not quite sure why they do that on certain beers like this. Um, like on the last episode, we talked quite a bit about the IBUs and how that's come, the, the uh, isomeritized alpha acids. I gotta think that this has those in it, so I can't imagine why they don't list it. Um, look, you're starting to get some light lacing. Pretty cool can. Uh, three beans, I mean, uh, Six Point does these tall, skinny cans. Like I mentioned, it's kind of like a Red Bull can. Uh, very consistent, very, very good, consistent marketing. Um, so the three beans, the name, comes from three actual beans. The cocoa bean, the coffee bean, and the Romano bean. So the Romano bean is a green bean. It's a flat green bean. It looks kind of like a, uh, a mix between a green bean and an edamame. So it's long like a green bean and kind of flat like an edamame. And that's, they use it in the beer. And so, um, they said that they got this recipe from some ancient texts. So I did a little research on that. And there is writings about using beans in beer from like the 1750s. So a long time ago. And then in the 1800s there was a couple books written about uh, making spirits and stuff with with different items and did different ingredients I should say. And um, beans was also on that list. See what other notes we have on this. Oh, this is aged in Widow Jane bourbon barrels. I've heard of Widow Jane's. I've never had it. I, w I would like to taste it, especially now that I know that they um, use their used barrels, their spent barrels, for uh, beer aging. It's pretty cool. Um, so for this run, Six Point used two hundred bourbon barrels. Uh, I should know how many gallons are in a, in a barrel, but that's a lot of beer. Yeah, this is Six Points' first network-wide barrel release. So network-wide means their whole distributor network. Um, everyone that gets Six Point can get three beans across the whole network. Uh, so this beer, like I said, it's the three beans. It combines Romano beans, coffee beans in the form of cold-brewed coffee, so not just raw beans in the form of cold brewed coffee, and um, and cocoa like not cocoa beans per se, it was cocoa husks, and I'm not sure in that 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 gives it a chocolate flavor. I'm not sure how much of that translates or not, but um, so in doing some research about beer made with beans, I came up uh, across this brewery in Edinburgh called Barney's Beer. And they have a beer called Tundra IPA, and it's made with 40% fava beans. 
what seems interesting. I don't know. I, I want to try it. Obvi you know, obviously, I want to try it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how good it would be. Although, if you think of the things that are in beer currently, you would think it would taste like a like a stew or something, and that's not what it tastes like at all. So I don't know. Um, there's a bunch of uh, stuff on the back of these cans. These cans are not easy to read. These metallic cans. Um, it says bourbon, bourbon barrel aged porter. This is an imperial, a 10.1%. This is an imperial porter. Anything over 8% imperial. Uh, Baltic Tales spoke of ancient brewers casting beans and barley into cauldrons to create dark, rich beer. Swigging heartily from horns, a true all sating drink. I think that means like satiating of the gods. The mad scientists have returned to resurrect this mythical three beans partner porter with the flavors of coffee and chocolate stirred in bourbon st stored in bourbon barrels until the time is just right. This 2017 vintage matures in the can for up to three years served neat and obviously wouldn't serve over ice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is uh, formulated and brewed by Six Point Brewery, Brooklyn, New York, and Memphis, Tennessee. Pretty cool. It's interesting to see some of these bigger craft brewers either doing a second location or just brewing in a second location. And I don't know. I should do some research on that and see if Six Point has breweries in both locations or they just brew in one or the other. I'm not sure where they're from where they're initially. Um, one of their, their, their big slogan is beer is culture. And I agree, really, beer is culture. Um, I mentioned this last time, you know, in traveling around, every place has their own beer and they're all proud of it. Even if it sucks, they're all proud of their local beer. It's amazing. It's like, yeah, that's the local. And if someone works there, oh man, that's like, People think that's like the coolest job ever to, to work in the local brewery. This is good. I mentioned that when I did the Dewclaw series, uh, the Sweet Baby Jesus, Sweet Baby Java, and the 865, they all had something weird in them. And this doesn't have that weirdness but it alludes to it like it's just a it almost feels like it's going to go that that direction but it doesn't and it's mainly on the finish and I, i'm not sure if it's I, I it's really really hard to pin down what that what that other flavor is that being said this is good i would definitely get this again oh what was the price on this it's not cheap um 15.99 a four pack so this is definitely on the more expensive side at $4 a can at home. That's that's pricey. Mm, that is good. I still have yet to do the 2017 Bourbon County um, Barrel Age. Uh, I think that's a stout. I have one of those in the fridge and I have... Um, a couple more stouts from Funky Buddha. I'm kind of waiting to try to, to to drink those with somebody. They're bombers, and I'd like to just open them and and kind of kind of drink both of them. There's a uh, place up the street here that the owner. Uh, it's called Josie's uh, Pizza and Wings or something like that. It may have a number of uh, craft beers, and I've talked to the owner at length about beer we've gotten into some craft beer discussions so he might be a good one maybe he could bring some stuff and and help share you know i, I share some of my my bottles and he could share some of his bottles maybe if he has anything anything cool like that so that that, that may be something I'll, I'll work on in the future here let's get around to a rating so, this beer, 
I said I was very anticipated to try this. I wanted to try it last year, and for whatever reason, I didn't. And um, so here we are. And uh, this is part of uh, I did kind of like a three a three beer six point series. I did the high res IPA, the three beans, and we hopefully we have something special coming for the resin um, uh, review. I'm still working out some technical details, but ho hopefully we have something fun and different that I haven't done yet f for the resin. Uh, that being said, the rating. What are we going to rate this? It's not as complex as I would have expected for being aged in bourbon barrels. But it's not bad. And it does have, a, I, I prefer a little more oaky, a little more bourbony. I'm not getting that. I'm actually not getting a ton of coffee either. There's a lot of bourbon smell, a lot of oak smell. And it smells boozier than it tastes. I'm going to give this a four. It's a solid, it's a solid, solid beer. Um, yeah, it's just, it's good. I, I was expecting a little more. I was expecting it to be a four and a quarter. It's not quite there. It, it lacks a little bit of the complexity I, that I like in a beer. I like, I like complex beers. And bourbon, bourbon aging, bourbon barrel aging, usually lends itself to that because you don't really know what you're going to get. I mean, you taste along the way to see when you should pull it. Um, I don't know if uh, there's any breweries that have just like forgotten about beer that's been in a bourbon barrel and left it for, I don't, I don't even know, I'm not even sure how long they is the average aging time in a bourbon barrel. I should find that out. I'm going to find that out. But I would be curious, be curious to see if something went way over the top and just got super boozy. The Bourbon County stuff, I've tasted the 2017 Bourbon County um, barrel age stuff, and it is good. It is very good. It is definitely, it's a better beer than this. It's more complex, it's richer, yeah, it's got more, it's got a broader range of flavors. So I, I'm going to give this a four. Like I said, it's a it's just it's a solid solid beer. For the price, I don't think it's a great value. Um, if it was in the three dollar a can range instead of the four dollar a can range, that's what twenty five percent uh, thirty twenty five percent less. Uh, that that would definitely be more attractive as far as uh, buying this in the future. That being said, if I see this out and I don't recognize any of the other stuff or not feeling adventurous, which isn't too often, but I would definitely drink this again. Wood beer again. This is also, I made sure that this sat out for a little bit before I reviewed it. You definitely want to drink this probably no colder than 52 degrees. 54, I found with these darker beers, seems to be the... the the sweet spot. Above that, they kind of hang in your mouth a little bit. 54 seems to be sweet spot. And I would say now I'm almost getting, um, this is probably, this last sip is probably. That was good. Excited to bring you guys some more videos. Um, we got some cool stuff coming up. The, uh, like I said, the, we should have a special treat with, with resin if I can work out some details. But until then, cheers.